back. Ligi na nyunge duga se women and youth issue. Let me leave that with Aisha Koka. Let her tell us what she brought for us today. Okay, lo malen indil te moi wa si walum Senegalese school binga hamne ni ne mone ka fele chakaira ba avenue. Nyunge ne ka di complain about the constitution a constitution igam biya regarding the reopening their school. Cause nyom din buga moi puri nyu obi sen school in the next month of June. But as President Barrow has declared that we should reopen our Lockdown on the eight, and Senegal that will fall on the eight. The twenty-one days will fall on the eight, and the Senegalese should open their school on the second. It's bringing conflict. So I like to ask um ask Omar, what do you think about that? What did the Constitution said about it? Is it the conflicts of interest, conflicts of law? What? Yeah, I think the Constitution is silent about that. Um, we have um international law that regulates that. Uh, first, we have to understand education is a priority, and no government or no country should joke with education. Mm -hmm. But we, we must be conscious of the fact that what has happened is not at a normal situation. Um, it is true when, 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 when a government owns anything in another country, under international law, it is assumed to be part of that country. The Senegalese, by virtue of their international, by virtue of international law, mm -hmm. they have all the right to claim their students to go to school. Mm -hmm. But remember, uh, we are in a state of emergency mm -hmm. in which right are, uh, rights are restricted. In fact, some of the rights in, in, in proper lockdown, in proper state of emergency, they are even ceased. So sovereignty and other laws tend to slip. What prevails is national interest. So I don't think whether the government of the Gambia. Uh, will sacrifice their citizens in trying to get the goodwill, goodwill of the Senegalese to allow their children to go to school because they are coming back to the society. Whosoever is contaminated with the coronavirus will come back to the society. Mm -hmm. Who should care you? Mm -hmm. The government of the Gambia. If you spread it to the Gambians, who will suffer the Gambians? Mm -hmm. So the best I think they can do right now is for them to, 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 to look at um, how Gambia is operating and understand that the system is not normal as it used to be, and therefore they have to lease with the government government unless or until um, the government people are about to open their school, we open it together. But other than that, they cannot open their school. That is the position of the law. The position of the law is that whensoever a state of emergency um, is, is declared, even domestic law tends to slip. The of international law. And domestic, domestic law prevails over international laws. Yeah. So the decision of the Gambian government prevail here. And that is if Gambia is to ease their restriction on the aid, mm -hmm. and we don't even still know whether it will be extended. Mm -hmm. Because uh, according to the government official, what they understand about the coronavirus is that uh, the way it is destroying countries, if proper care and measures is not taken, it can destroy a nation, mm -hmm. a country. And we all know the status quo of our economy, our health facilities, our people, socialization of the people. So I, I even have the belief the state of emergency should also be extended again. But, but schools yeah. are closed, but do you know that our children are around the streets praying? Yes, but it is a response of the parents now. The government should not, you know, there is uh, what they call negligence to prevent felony. Mm. We are a, a father or a parent is negligently allowed in his children to get into trouble mm. or to commit crimes. The best that um, they can do, the government can do, is to put the laws. And it's left to the parents to make sure that those laws are implemented. Because there are certain things that are of right. But there are certain things that are of responsibility. So if you fail into your responsibility, and then otherwise happen, you can be held liable by law. Lagi dengan buka wahana kom hal yang ingat kami tanya nyonya kasi France School bi, then dun stop aku kom Senegal on the second banyu ubi, then you talk be lua Gambia bi ne on the eight banyu ubi, so fake case ah dun you aku public emergency bi, lo lo ni ada. Wah nak jalan tapi pun dia nak aku pur hal yang wara dem school. Mungkin kita tu apa kita nak ni la 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 ni yang wara sitsen exam sitsen. Aku ni dia. Kau tak tis internet. Kau tak mune. Belangan ni faham na, belangan ni wow, ni faham. Okay. Before you are there, you, before you say yes, you should be there. Mm -hmm. Who among us knows whether we will be here tomorrow? Can we wait and then we are affected? So we cannot sacrifice our health with education at the moment. Mm -hmm. so Omar, then, hmm? what 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 uh, what I have a problem with uh, what you've said here is the fact that 
you've articulated how the coronavirus is, is dangerous mm -hmm. and how the Gambia government should understand and accept that or make the Gambian people of coronavirus dangerous. Mm -hmm. But what you've missed is the fact that the Gambia government have a responsibility to do and they have to make substitutes. If you close school, if the Gambia is on a lockdown mm -hmm. and the children are not going to school, mm -hmm. you cannot convince me that they spent $835 million on that you know, nonsense TV show for kids. And I mean, I have a child at home. Who's so following, that following that? it? Mm -hmm. Who's following that? Because my, my child is in nurse Street, for example, and you are sewing. And the online classes too are not effective. There's a call for concern. For the students. I definitely agree with you. It's no, no the point is, wait, 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 yeah. I'm not finished yet. Let him the, the point is, uh, just to sum it up, there's no infrastructure in place for the Gambia students to go into that online classes. We don't have infrastructure. So what we can do is right now, we don't, the coronavirus in this country, I mean, there's a politics in the, in, in, in the coronavirus reporting years in this country. I mean, you know, you mean you there's politics in it, and you cannot deny that. I mean, even the epidemiologists in this country, cannot tell you confidently that we actually have serious coronavirus cases in this country. Mm -hmm. My brother, I'm not here to... No, 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 wait, wait. What I'm saying is, Omar, so what is the government putting in place now? What are they providing for us now? I'm not here to defend the government, mm -hmm. but I'm here to analyze, to give rational view on how I think things should be. But remember, Rome was not built in one day. Mm -hmm. This pandemic was unexpected. So we either try than to do nothing. Are we trying? The online classes is a call for concern. It is not effective. It is true. But it's better than not to try. It is better than not to try. So the government is trying. Mm -hmm. But despite the human resources, the economic resources that we need. I don't think the government is doing anything about it. No, but, but you remember the University of the Gambia, for instance, is under the... Uh, only all the online institutions that are doing it. Yes. They are under the University of the Gambia. And it's under the government government. Yes, and then what? So, they, they are assuming responsibilities. No, they are not. No, the University of the Gambia is under the government government. Remember, it's but the president... But they are not assuming responsibility. It is their responsibility. Um, I don't want to like... Do you know... But Mr. Jal, Mr. Jal, the Mr. Mr. President, but, President Barrow, yes. is the Vice Chancellor. Up is the chancellor. Chancellor. Rather. Now the vice chancellor represents the president. Mm -hmm. The University of the Gambia, GTTI, MBI, they are all I under just want the Ministry of Higher Education and they are under the umbrella of the. Uh, the what the responsibility are they taking when it comes to the online classes? Mm -hmm. Because it's not just the University of the Gambia that are doing it. No, no, no the, the point is. Daos is doing it. Aisha. Sibek is doing it. Marina mm -hmm. is doing it. What are they doing towards it? Even though they are private schools, how about the public schools? Well, um, I think um, we still need a room for improvement. Yeah. But that does not mean they're not trying. I'm not saying anything that they are doing it. Yes. No, <laughs> no, no. The point is, the point is, I think, I, I, I think you, you are just quick to defend the government without really put into the consideration what is really going on in this country. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, how, how, how many people? About, this is not about defending. Wait, but no. we all know what has happened. Um, university students are attending their lectures. Yes. Omar, but Omar, you, you, have, have, before, 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 you have to understand one thing. I am a student at the University of the Gambia, but even before, yeah. there were people when we have normal classes, they did not attend class. Let's talk about the oh, like, no, talk about the week issue. Issue. Let's talk about don't the talk about about students attending or not attending classes. Mm. Let's talk about the responsibility of the government. What are they doing towards it? It's their responsibility. They are here for us. We put them there. Omar, it is their responsibility. Yeah. But it's also equally your responsibility. To do what? To attend lectures. And if we don't? You fail in your responsibilities. Okay, how about the government? The government has already created the, created the platform for you. No, they and haven't. And the platform is to make sure that you have is it, the Is it the system. government who, who, no, who, give, uh, who uh, started these lectures or is the students that did it for themselves? It is the institution as the University of the Gambia, mm -hmm. under the government of the Gambia, mm -hmm. initiated the action. And they are the first mm -hmm. institution in the Gambia to initiate online lectures, digital lectures. No. Oh, Omar. Who are Omar. They are not. I Omar. can't. Mr. Yeah. Yes. Now, we have seen uh, the state of public emergency, the first one, 45 yeah. days, yes. has ended. And the government of the Gambia has promised us that at least 85% of the population of this country will yeah. get food, food package from the government. Mm -hmm. 
and that type Still of people salad. are complaining Still, that they have not anything. In Bajur, we already know that the fifty percent they don't eat. Today, today, today I've seen the cost of one dollar in, in Jara shop. Yes, not only in Jara, but in this. And now the state of emergency is extended now, and the government have no plans to give them another food package. Now people are locked in their houses, they are not going to farm, they are not mm -hmm. going to do their local mm -hmm. businesses, no, no small scale business, they are locked down in, the, in, in, in their houses. How do you expect these people to survive? And still they don't have For that most of the people. Um, here the priority is health. The government priority at the moment is health. But right. we must not also forget that we are human beings. Mm -hmm. And so long as we live, we eat. And in so long as we live, we walk. But the events that if you are working for 12 hours, now you're working for 6 hours, definitely your earning will reduce. Mm -hmm. That is obvious. But remember that the government did not have it for everyone. And if you assume, or if the government have said only 80% of the government should have the, the rice, do you know how many amount then of money it was means, given to the government? Then it means they have to take their time. Look at the people that needed it best. And in doing so, they have to make sure they eat. Oh, well, you have to understand that they have done a research. <laughs> and the government has sent a list to all the municipalities and the council in this country. Yeah. Yet they don't receive their food. This is what I'm talking about. But the food is available now. Implement the food. Food. Why, 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 why don't is the people sufficient? get it still? I, I work, I work How many TV, just yeah. last week. Huh? And I saw the implementation is going on. There are people who have called and said we have the rice is in our, our, our mosque. Or is in our place, but we are here to distribute it, and the distribution have to be fair. Do you know I'm that giving you the statistical data. I'm giving you a real accurate data that the 50 percent of the people in Bajo, not only the Bajo, but in Jaya in LR, even the 20 percent of the population, the people in the from the government, they have not yet distributed it passionately. The distribution has ended since, to, to, uh, since on the 8th this month. The this distribution is, what I'm is about. a process. Remember? No, no, no. Okay. There is no food. You, you, you. There is no food. And the, and the Bagan Square, it has all been set according to the government. Yeah. Where has they gone? And even today, in the newspapers, the drivers of these transports of this food to the up countries are saying that the government did not pay them for their transportation fees. This is about doing what? This is about eliminating the, the, the injustices. No. No, no, Omar, social Omar, 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 what is clear? Right, what is clear? Omar. What is clear is the fact that the Gambian government has done nothing systematically to for the Gambian citizens in, in response to the coronavirus. As simple as that. They just acted to get the same thing. Simple okay. as that. No. Okay. What have they done? No. Okay. Put it on the table. Listen. You have just mentioned that. What have they done? You have just told me. Thank that you, that gentlemen. Now, can you listen to what me? What have they done? <laughs> in a sentence. You have just 20 minutes. 20 seconds, rather. Rice distribution. Do you think that it will happen overnight? I don't want to get back to that. No, you have to go back Move to that. On. If you go to Sierra Leone, you see the right that the government is giving. But it does not mean that they have about their, um, payment. their payments. Yes. The tractor owners, they are complaining about it. So why they have not even been paid. Why are you bringing the tractor owners? Because the rice has only been sent to the right places. But the owners are yet to receive it. Is it? Do you know yeah. They are claiming because they take the rice to Sierra and uh, to, to so Yohara. So those are the right places. places. They are. In Abuko, in Abuko, for instance, Abuko is allocated 100,000 bucks. But the distribution now become a problem. How do we determine? Because remember, we do not have proper survey. Of but I thought survey happened. was done. No, he's misquoting. The survey was done before, but the status quo has changed. Who? There were people that were poor before. And same on the government. Before. Then same on the government. They should have done the survey. So same on the government. Government is a process. Okay, now my people. Have uh, Omar, so I'll if their priority is Omar. Huh? I'll cut you there. Thank you so much. Let us take a break and then come back.